Prince of Peace, Principe de Paz, friends. It's Mr. Eric again with another message for you uh, as we are doing church a different way. Uh, you've noticed that we haven't gotten together in the church building for a little while that we've been meeting on your TV screen or your computer screen, and that's okay. And in fact, that's something that God has blessed us to be able to do. So I am guessing while you have been at home, maybe one of the things you've been doing like I have been doing is watching movies. Do you like to watch movies? Why don't you turn to who you're watching with and tell them what your favorite movie that you watched in quarantine has been. Some of you might know that my favorite movie is one called The Lion King. Have you seen The Lion King? I think a lot of us have. It's a very, very popular movie. And this is one of my favorites for a couple reasons. Um, probably the most important one is because it was the movie that I went to on my very first date with Mrs. Gherkin. And because of that, it's always been a very special movie to me. But even if that had not been the case, it's just an awesome movie. It's fun, uh, it's exciting, it's, it's great. So after it came out on video, of course I had to have my own copy of The Lion King. And this was the first copy of The Lion King I ever bought. And it came, it came like this. This is a, a videotape. Now, some of you maybe have never seen one of these before, but this is how, when you wanted to watch a movie, this is how you used to have to do it. You would pop this into a machine called a VCR and you would watch the movie. But after a while, movies stopped really coming out like this. And it start, they started looking a little bit more like this. So this copy of The Lion King, is on a DVD. Now, most of you have probably seen a DVD, haven't you? And so we stopped watching the, the VHS copy and instead would watch it on DVD. But you know, a little more than a year ago, my family moved to Orlando and into a new house. And we found that we were just not watching our DVDs the way that we used to. And so now at my house, we don't even have a DVD player set up. So what am I supposed to do if I wanna watch The Lion King? Well, some of you have probably started watching movies online. Now I like to watch movies on Disney Plus because it's got my favorite, The Lion King. So I can watch The Lion King, whether I'm watching it on an old cassette or on a DVD or online, when I watch the movie, the movie is the same. Simba still wins. Scar is still bad. Pumbaa and Timon, they're still funny. The movie is the same, even though how I watch it is different. Well, boys and girls, the same is kind of like us for church. We don't get together right now to sit in the church building and to see one another in person, but we still get to hear God's word. We get to hear what God tells us from the Bible. We get to hear that even though we are sinners, God loved us so much that Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. And then we learned again last week that Jesus rose from the dead to tell us that our sins are forgiven. Now I'm gonna look at a different version of the Bible, the Bible on my phone, Several years ago, I would have never guessed that I would be able to look at the Bible on my phone, but now I can read to you from God's Word where it says this in Deuteronomy 31.8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. In God's Word, he promises us that he will be with us, whether we are together in church, whether we're in our homes, wherever we are, that God will go with us. And the mission stays the same. God tells us that we are to tell the whole world that Jesus loves us and forgives us. So whether we are watching church at home or in person, wherever we are, the mission stays the same. What God 
that God loves us stays the same, that God wants us to share his word stays the same. Now, will you say a prayer with me to ask God to continue to be with us and to help us to share his word? I'll say the words and then you repeat them at home after me and in that way we can pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me and sharing your word to lead my heart to follow you. Help me to share your word and your love with others. Amen. We'll see you next time, friends.